Hello everybody! This video will show you what to do if you see a security warning, Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver, and how to disable driver signature verification. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. When a new device is connected to the computer, Windows tries to find and install a corresponding driver. Sometimes you can see a notice that the driver is unsigned, was modified after signing, or that it cannot be installed by Windows. Should you install an unsigned or modified driver? If the driver is signed by the publisher and the authenticity of such signature has been confirmed by a certification center, you can be sure that the driver was issued by this publisher and was not modified by anyone else. It's better to avoid installing a driver if you have doubts as to its origins and the safety of its contents. An original version of the unsigned driver can actually come from the device manufacturer, but if the driver is unsigned, it's quite possible that it has been modified by someone else. After all, today most manufacturers sign the drivers they have created before they issue them. However, if you decided to disable a driver's signature verification, there are several ways to do it. Some of them differ, depending on the operating system – Windows 7 or Windows 8 and 10. The first way is for Windows 7. You can disable driver signature verification in Windows 7 with the help of the Advanced Boot Options menu. To use it, restart the computer. Somewhere between the BIOS logo and Windows 7 Splash animation, press F8. To make sure you did it, press it several times. As a result, the Advanced Boot Options screen will appear. Use the arrow keys to highlight this option – Disable Driver Signature Enforcement – and press Enter. After restarting the computer, the Driver Signature Enforcement will be turned off. The second way is for Windows 8 and 10. You can disable Driver Signature Verification in Windows 8 from the Recovery Environment. Watch a detailed video guide on entering and using Windows 10 Recovery Environment. You will find the link in the description. To do it, go to Settings, Update and Security, Recovery. In the Advanced Startup section, click on Restart Now. After the restart, the Recovery Environment window will open. In the Recovery Environment, click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings. In the Startup Settings menu, you can see that the operating system can be restarted to perform a number of functions. Among them, there is also Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Click Restart. The system restarts. The window to select an option appears. You can choose the one you need by pressing keys from F1 to F9. The one we are looking for, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, is number 7 on the list. So I press F7 to choose it. After restarting the computer, the Driver Signature Enforcement will be disabled. The third way of turning off Driver Signature Verification might be the easiest and the most correct. It will work with Windows 7, 8 or 10. This method involves modifying local group policy editor settings. To start it, press Windows or key sequence. In the window that opens, enter the command gpedit.msc. You can visit our channel and watch a detailed video about the run tool and its main commands. If you are interested, follow the link in the description. Press OK. Uh, when the Local Group Policy Editor opens, go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Driver Installation. In the right pane, find the policy Code Signing for Device Drivers. Double click on it. This policy determines how the system responds when a user tries to install device driver files that are not digitally signed. By default, this function is on. 
That is, the system checks the driver signatures and does not allow installing the ones that are not digitally signed. To turn off this check, select Disabled. If you select Enabled, you can choose what the system does when it spots a driver missing a digital signature – Ignore, Warn or Block. Select the one you like. To save changes, click OK, Apply. The choice is always yours, but reinstalling drivers is not something you do very often, so it's better to consider the system's warning and think twice than take unnecessary risks. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below, subscribe to Hackman Software channel, thank you for watching and good luck!